Alright guys, welcome back to another Science Tune video. And here today we have the Crenum Anorax. Probably my third favorite science vessel of all time. It is really, really nice. It's got great seating, it's got some great abilities. I mean, it's, it's really cool. I, I like the way it works. It's a really good science vessel. If you can get your hands on one... You'll probably spend an arm and a leg, but it's totally worth it. It's worth every penny you can put into it. I, I enjoy it so much that, you know, it's it's my number three choice for science uh, vessels. But let's take a look at the build here. Um, this one is a little bit different than most of them. Uh, we're using the particle emission plasma torpedo on this one because of the radiation damage and that's you know affected by your particle gens and your exotic damage boosts and stuff like that then we've got our our basic beam weapons here you know the standard complement of rep beams and of course our solenoid deflector secondary deflector um, two-piece temporal set for the dot damage bonus the Ico Shields, and a lot of people ask me why do I use the Ico Shield, is because it has the automatic hot restart for your shields if they get disabled after one second, but it also removes a debuff from you every 10 seconds, so it keeps a lot of those debuffs off you. Um, then we've got the three-piece set here for the chronometric calculation set, and then the fourth piece is down here with the chronometric capacitor. And that gives you the Chronometric Energy Converter, which is another big exotic damage boost and an energy weapon damage boost, which is perfect for this type of build. Um, it actually complements it very well. Then, of course, we got the Crenum Science Vessels Timeline Stabilizer Console. Then the Constriction Anchor, which is only there for the exotic damage bonus. It has nothing to do with the anchor itself. I really don't care. I throw it on an auto spam bar, just let it fire, whatever. Um, the auto auxiliary ejection assembly is also there for the bonus damage and the extra auxiliary power boost. But you also have a nice little damage boost or a speed boost if you need it to get across the other side. And it works very well with the Krenum because the Krenum's slow. It is a slow boat. It turns like a truck in mud. <laughs> It's just, ugh. But if you can adjust to it and make it work, it is it is the best science vessel. Well, not the best. Third best in my opinion. But some people put this one as number one. And then, of course, you've got the double part gens field exciter, the four particle focusers, the plasma leech console or the plasmonic leech console for the extra power boost and then finally the m6 computer for the extra damage and the 25 percent cooldown reduction with all the firing cycle haste boost as well let's take our look at our skills it's the same as always no changes since the last few videos and our traits are the same as the last few videos i mean if you want to look at them I'll highlight over them if you need to read them. Just hit that pause button. I mean, a lot of the abilities here are self-explanatory. The extra control, the extra part gens, um, the extra boost to your exotic damage. You know, the, uh, anything that'll boost or help the build out itself. And then, of course, you get your starship traits, the highly specialized for the extra part gen boosts. The checkmate for the projectile damage and the exotic damage, mostly. Uh, the numerical superiority for extra damage on your targets when you have other allies targeting your targets, which include your pets. The time to kill. That's uh, pretty much self-explanatory. Every time you use your science bridge officer abilities, you get extra bonus damage. And then, of course, the Exotic Modulation, which is a 20% exotic damage boost for 15 seconds. Anytime you use a Directed Energy or Temporal Operative ability. But it doesn't really work on this build because I'm not using either one of those. But I left it on there because I'm too lazy to change it. Then, of course, the Standard Space Rep Advanced Engines. The Aux to Power. 
the crit severity, the crit chance, and then of course the bonus exotic damage. And then we got your active space reps, you can see them there. But yeah, it's pretty nice. All right, let's look at our stations. Now for this one we went, you know, very heavy science with very little engineering. The only engineering on there is the emergency power to engines to get the ship faster. And then we have um, OSS, which is the override subsystem safeties, our tactical team, spread three for the torpedo to get more radiation on the targets, fire at will to proc all of our different abilities from the beams, of course the chemosite for the torpedoes. I'm not a big fan of feedback pulse, but at the time I didn't have another ability that I wanted to put in that slot, so I just stuck a feedback pulse in there and put it on the auto bar. Then a subspace vortex, the hazard emitters to heal, our tachyon beam and our energy siphon to trigger the de deteriorating secondary deflector, the destabilizing resonance beam, and the gravity well 3. So that you can see right there is our build. I'm going to show you the DOS again so this way you understand that it's not changed. There you go. Alright, so that is the Credomatter X build. And what we're going to do is we're going to run an ISA. We're going to take a quick look at what the ship can do. And then we'll give you a breakdown of the actual DPS output, show you the, you know, that combat abilities and that we're using mostly exotic damage on this build as well. And we're going to break 100k with it. So let's go take care of that ISA. We'll see you guys in just a second.
Congratulations. Alright, so there is the Krenomatorx, 145,000 DPS on that run, and it was not that great of a run, but it was pretty decent. We did some cool stuff here. I'm going to show our little damage charts, and we're climbing the charts there. Little damage spikes, there's a lot of big ones in there. Cool stuff. Look at our combat analysis report here. Congratulations to the team on that one, it was a completely Pickup group team, or pug team as we call them. And yeah, look at that uh, secondary deflector. Nice. Very nice indeed. Some good stuff right there. Lot of exotic damage. A lot of it. Throughout that entire thing is all exotic damage. Beams are just there for added bonus damage. Good stuff. But yeah, that's another video, you guys. Hope you enjoyed the Krenomaner X. A lot of people have been requesting this one and the uh, the Krenum Science Vessel. I hope you guys enjoyed that video as well. Uh, but if you guys have any comments, questions, you know, get some concerns, throw them down in the comments there. Smash the like button if you liked the video and subscribe if you want to see more of this kind of stuff. And remember, spread the word. Help the science community grow. I am Darth Proteus, and I will see you guys on the other side. Chakotay.